Hi, I'm David. I'm a PhD student in materials engineering. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a problem from the 2012 MSE 101 final exam. Uh, so this is problem four and it reads, referring to the silver iron phase diagram, if 20 grams of silver was added to 80 grams of iron at 1600 degrees Celsius and then cooled to 1200 degrees Celsius, how many grams of liquid would be present? So this is the phase diagram right here. And uh, our first step, you notice we're not given the alloy composition in this case. So we actually have to find that. So we can just find that by the relative uh, masses of the silver and iron that are given in the problem. So if we wanted to find the percent composition of, let's say, silver, right? we were given 20 grams of silver. over the total, which was the 20 grams of silver plus the 80 grams of iron, okay? And multiply by 100, so we get a percent. And this is going to equal 20%. Okay, so then we refer over to our phase diagram. And 20% uh, is about here. So I'm going to draw a vertical line up from there. Okay, and we're at 1200 degrees Celsius. So 1200 degrees is somewhere in the middle right about here. So we look where that intersects with our line, and this is our point right here. So we're in this region. So we have this mixed gamma iron phase, or a mixed, fa mixed phase with uh, gamma iron and this liquid, L2. Okay, so we're trying to determine the amount of L2 that we have. So we can draw a tie line here and just apply the lever rule. So in order to do that, we need to know the composition over here of L2 and the composition over here of gamma iron. So because this phase diagram is drawn the way it is, it's hard to see the lines on the side. So they're actually given in these, um, these values up here. So there's a, there's, a trend, there's a line at 0.017, the uh, percent composition, a line at 0.042, and then the line on the right is at 99.74, and similarly here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to interpolate. I'm just going to average the values between them so that we can determine what the composition is midway through. However, this is maybe a little bit more involved than you would need to do. You could probably just assume that this is about 99.74. 0.9 or 99.98 or something like that, but um, I'm just going to show you this way of doing it. So let's look at our composition of gamma iron. Right, this one is going to equal 0.042, right, minus 0.004, and I'm going to take the average, so I'm going to divide by two. Oh, I'm sorry. That's plus 0 0.004, not minus, right? And that is going to equal 0 0.023. Now our composition of liquid 2, L2, this is going to equal 99.997. 99.97, sorry. minus 99.74 over 2. And this is equal to 99.86. Okay, so this is our weight percent silver. Okay, so now we have enough information to apply the lever rule and determine how much uh, what, what weight fraction of the liquid we have, okay? So when we apply the lever rule, we take this side, this part, and divide it by the entire. So this part is going to be uh, 20 minus 0 0.023, right? Divided by right here, which is 99.86. minus 0 0.023 again. Okay, 
And this is going to give us 0 0.2. OK? Now, the question asked for the mass. So we know that the mass of the liquid is just going to be the total mass, which was 20 grams plus 80 grams, right? The silver plus, plus the iron, multiplied by our fractional amount, uh, our weight fraction of the liquid, which was 0 0.2. And this is equal to 20 grams. So we have 20 grams of liquid present at 1,200 degrees.